This week, we'll take a look at the find intersections function, how you can use it to find intersections between sets of data in normal or logarithmic coordinates. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. This week, I want to talk about the find intersections function, but I also want to point out that on the MetPy docs right now as this video is released, the MetPy 2021 user survey is live. So make sure to go fill that out. Let us know how you use MetPy and what we can do to make it better for you. All right, so find intersections. This is another one of those useful things that's buried in MetPy.calc that you may not know is there. It is used to find where two data sets cross, and it will do interpolation. And you can even use it for logarithmic interpolation. So if you've got a pressure coordinate, for example. This is behind a lot of the things like CAPE calculations with soundings. We're trying to find the intersection of parcel profiles and environmental temperature profiles. That being said, it's got several options. So it's going to take the x data or the pressure data or whatever your x coordinate is. Then it's going to take the two data sets, we call them A and B, so parcel profile and environmental temperature or whatever else. And then it has a couple of optional keyword arguments here. The direction, you can find all crossings or you can just find a crossing where A is becoming greater than B or where B is becoming greater than A. And then, of course, there's that log x interpolation. So by default, it's going to find all the crossings, and we're not going to use logarithmic interpolation. So let's see this in action. Going to import mappy.calc as mpcalc. Import numpy as np. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And use my matplotlib inline magic. Now we're going to create some artificial data here. I'm going to use MPA range of 10. This is just a little data set that I came up with that lets us see the workings of this function. All right, and for our Y2, we're going to have that as a line that is straight it's 2x. So let's take a quick look at our data sets. Just make a quick dirty plot here. And there we go. So we can see that we have several crossings, uh, both increasing and decreasing A related to B. So now let's use find intersections and we're going to use uh, all increasing and decreasing. So x intersection all, y intersection all. Let me use that unpacking syntax. So find intersections. There's our doc string if we need to remind ourselves. X, y1, y2. That's just the default behavior. For increasing, it's going to be the same thing, except direction we're going to set to increasing. And similar for decreasing. Okay, so that ran very quickly. And now we can make a plot to see exactly how this worked. So I'm going to create three plots, one for each invocation of the function here. And I'm going to use plot.subplots with three columns. And set my figure size to be 15 by 6. I'm going to iterate over the tuple of axes that's returned. And in that I'm going to plot both curves on each axis. 
on the zeroth axes, I'm going to scatter the xi all, yi all intersections. And we'll set those to be red. Next, we'll do the increasing. And since they all are on different axes, we could leave them all the same color, but I want to get that extra visual distinction. Our decreasing data sets. And finally, we'll set a title of all. increasing and decreasing. And what we need to do is, since we're not using the, the PyPlot interface, these are actually set title. And now we've got our three plots. So two dimensionless quantities. This is all the intersections that are found. The increasing intersection, where A is becoming greater than B and the decreasing intersections where A is becoming less than B. So you can see how this would be very handy for many applications and data where you're wanting to know where is something going to cross and you need to interpolate between data points, not just find the nearest. So like I said, we use it several places in MetPy, and I think you'll find applications for it in your research as well. I hope that you found this useful. Don't forget to fill out the MetPy user survey, and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.